Hi everyone, this is Linda. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to share with you um, my most recent order from Troll Beads. Um, I purchased this from Troll Beads Partridge Creek, uh, which um, with my favorite store closing, uh, having to find a uh, new store to shop with. So um, I purchased uh, with the help of Melissa um, at Troll Beats Partridge Creek. And look how beautifully wrapped um, everything came. I don't know about you, but I just love, even though I know what's in the box, I just love it when it's presented so beautifully. And um, look how nice uh, they included a little postcard with um, a nice handwritten note. And oh, they even sent me the new catalog, which this was a total surprise. So I absolutely love this. Um, so thank you so much. But let me show you um, what I got in this box. And I am just going to undo the ribbon. And let's see. I wrapped it in the Colby tissue paper. I'm just going to tear. I tell you what, let me tear into this off camera. I'll be right back. So here we have the box. And as you can see, I kind of went gaga over the new um, Time to Fly uh, bracelet. And then I did pick up um, two other things. So let me just get everything out of the box so I can show you more in detail. All right, so I did get the new Time to Fly limited edition bracelet. And with this um, bracelet, of course, you get the foxtail. And I did go, uh, again, for the largest size foxtail this time around. My plan is to join uh, the two largest lengths together with a couple of clasps and kind of fashion a um, foxtail necklace of sorts. But um, it comes with a silver bead and then a glass uh, bead, a special edition glass bead, and then it does also come with a clasp or lock. And um, let me just kind of show you and focus on this beautiful glass bead here. This has a lot of variation to it. Um, like I was torn between this one and one that had a little bit more white. Um, the white just really made it pop. But I chose uh, this particular bead here um, with the oranges. Um, it does still have a bit of white. And then I love the pops of like the olive green um, with this particular bead. And even the orange tones, like it goes from a lighter orange tone here to a slightly darker uh, orange tone here. And then of course it has all of those, um, you know, gray and brown and, and black uh, details, you know, to make it look like feathers. Um, this also makes me think of like a beautiful monarch butterfly for whatever reason. But this glass bead is just so, so stunning. And I was just so thankful that um, they were able to show me really nice still pictures as well as nice live pictures so I could choose the one I wanted um, as best I can because uh, they are out of Michigan and I'm in Colorado. So this is the glass bead and I'm not sure. I know that um, they've actually named this bead, uh, Troll Beads has, but I don't quite know um, the name of the bead. If I look on maybe some past uh, videos from the actual stores, I'm, I'll post it down here somewhere because they've actually given a name, I think, to the individual components um, for the first time ever. But that is the glass bead. And then the silver bead, 
um, is very sweet as well. Um, it has this leaf detail on one side. And then as you turn it, um, you have this sweet little um, bird. So you can see the bird's beak right there and its eye and its little wing and tail. Um, so I really like the fact that, uh, you know, you have a bird on one side and then you have this really lovely uh, leaf detail on the other. And I have this thing for troll beads and like little tiny beads like this um, with the leaves. So um, yeah, really happy to add this particular silver uh, to my arsenal. And then the clasp um, is all leaves. So you can see, um, I think they call this like one of those twist clasps where, you know, one is um, this way and one is kind of like twisted this way. Um, but it's got leaves, like this beautiful leaf detail on all sides. And they have another clasp um, that is sold separately that is all leaves. But this one I think um, is gonna be maybe even a little more comfortable to wear on the wrist than the, the one that I'm thinking of. But this is the clasp. Um, so the silver, uh, you know, if I kind of put everything together here, um, these are all the components that come with the Time to Fly bracelet. And then I did purchase one other um, silver bead. This is the um, Savoy Knot, I believe is what it's called. Hopefully I'm pronouncing it correctly. Um, I've just, I don't know, I've just gotten a thing lately for all these little knot beads. So, um, and I really liked the oxidized detail uh, that you can see on this one, where the rope uh, itself almost um, appears to be like two ropes uh, side by side, kind of um, being tied up into a knot. And then the last thing that I purchased was another one of the faceted round um, calcite beads. I believe it's the calcite. Hold on, let me double check that. I had ordered um, another one. Yeah, this is the round green calcite facet bead. Um, I had ordered um, another one and I just really love this pretty um, olive green tone as you can see here and with the um, with this one like to me um, with the malachite being retired to me with the different striations um, in the stone itself it kind of reminds me of the malachite uh, so maybe this is um, kind of replacing that need uh, with the troll beads but with a completely different stone but I thought that the olive green um, in the calcite really brings out the olive green uh, in the glass bead here so that is my first uh, order with Troll Beads Partridge Creek um, definitely is not going to be my last. Like I am stalking uh, their site because I'm hoping that we will soon see a peek of what's coming out for Mother's Day because um, I am so excited for that. But definitely looking forward to styling my new bracelet and uh, I hope you enjoyed my video guys. Take care. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, did you get this particular limited edition bracelet for yourself? Um, let me know your thoughts. I look forward to hearing to, from you. Take care. Bye.